high. With a cold metallic voice redolent of the deepest catacombs, Lizard Trust has been recorded giving her true attitude towards the working class, castigating them for lack of graft, matching her previous worst idlers in the world remarks. Will this damage her slime trail to number 10? Not at all. This will only enhance her chances. Her immediate electorate are the Tory party membership, many who still refer to benefits as national assistance. Truss, Sunak, the rest of the other conservative politicians, bar maybe a couple, have never done anything approaching what we'd regard as a day's work in their entire lives. They literally couldn't mentally or physically survive life in a workplace, the atmosphere of being pigged on by barking supervisors, jumped up office wallers, apart from the hours, the actual work, they couldn't take the stress. Certainly, they wouldn't be able to survive on the wages. It would be an absolute impossibility for them to budget and live in any sense of the word. It's beyond their limited abilities and imaginations. On the other side of the middle class divide, you have the likes of privately educated James O'Brien claiming his two hour radio show of self righteous bleating is more arduous than eight hours manual labour. Mate, as he patronisingly sneers, I'd like to see you enduring week after week, year after year, of soulless crushing work or labour living on the wages. It's the same with the Labour MPs. If by any remote possibility any of them ever toiled in alienating meaningless occupations, it's something they've long forgotten, never to be repeated, as they reinvent themselves as Tory light. All their elitist attitudes are reminiscent of a previous let them eat cake mentality. Consequently, only a revolution from below will send them to the, the perdition they richly deserve. Bye.